Dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, a woman who was the first one to appear in faith at the resurrection of Jesus. She who believed, she who had eagerness to meet him, shows how deep her faith was in Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, we are invited to be like Mary Magdalene, to be a person, to be forgiven, to be reconciled, and a person who transformed herself for the kingdom of God. Above all, she remained in the ministry of Jesus, supporting the ministry of Jesus. And she is an example for each one of us to be transformed in life and not to remain in sinful situation. Let us pray through, the, through her intercession that we all may become true Christians who change their hearts and be united with Jesus in faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures, and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people, to people of, of good will. We praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, God heavenly, heavenly King, King O God, o God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, Grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him 
reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 14 to 17. The love of Christ overwhelms us when we reflect that if one man had died for all, then all men should be dead. And the reason he died for all was so that living men should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life for them. From now onwards, therefore, we do not judge anyone by the standards of the flesh. Even if we did once know Christ in the flesh, that is not how we know him now. And for anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has gone, and the now the new one is here. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God. For you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. Response For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. Response For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I will bless you all my life in your name. I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. Response For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Response for you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way, the tomb the living dead enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. Alleluia! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, 11 to 18. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. Meanwhile, Mary stayed outside near the tomb, weeping. Then still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, So if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means Master. 
Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the sad thing about all of us who believe in Jesus, who believe in all his deeds, his ministry, his saving help, is that that we do not obey him, that we do not imitate him, that we do not follow in his steps. If you look at the life of Jesus, he was always with the sinners, with the tax collectors, with the sick and the suffering. You will hardly find him being in the company of the rich unless his purpose was to change and transform them. You see how we Christians are. We sometimes say you must avoid bad company. You mustn't get into people with bad or ill character. It is just the opposite of Christian living. The purpose here is to transform people by our presence, to change the life of the people. We are always scared about the influence of others rather than we influencing them with good way of life. We are scared to send our children, our youth, in the company of such people who need our help, we look down upon others. Jesus comes across such a character, a bad character, and he transforms this woman called Mary Magdalene. So much so that she remains so faithful in faith and in love for the sake of Jesus Christ that she is with him in all his ministry of healing and supports his ministry with whatever help she could along with other women. And you see how this woman becomes an act of faith to be remembered by you and me, woman who goes to the graveyard, to the tomb of Jesus and has the first experience of the resurrection. How gracious and blessed she must have been in faith that she gets the most prior place among all of us to receive faith in Jesus, to receive blessings. Her life of transformation was such a strong life that she does not go back to her past, either in memory or to live in that memory or to live in that state of life, she's transformed and she enjoys the presence of Jesus in her home. To listen to the word of God, 
and above all to live the word of god this great saint who gives us an act of such great faith we need to remember and seek for her intercession that we too may have such great love for jesus that we change from our former ways of life and return back to god to jesus in the newness of life amen Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit Lift up your hearts We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks to our Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will, and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time you was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this body to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as they await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Pray My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of the W2W TV MSFS, I wish to thank each one of you for being part of our channel and being part of the digital evangelization word to the world. We are happy that you are with us. We thank all the benefactors and well-wishers who make this ministry possible for us and help us financially and by their daily prayers. We are completing the project of the digital board and the necessary accessories. Those who wish to contribute take this as the last time announcement. Whatever we are able to do with it, we will do the purchasing and the rest we will leave to God to do it for us in the later time. We are happy for your cooperation and for your generosity. God bless your families. God bless you with healing, bless you with justice and bless you in all your endeavors. Be blessed. Thank you. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing you a very happy feast of St. Mary Magdalene. Let us live Jesus as she did.